Good evening, everyone. Here's the PM update for April 25th. Not a lot going on, so I'll cover the operations update as well. The Institute for a Study of War says Russian forces likely conducted a false flag attack in Transnistria, which is Russia's illegally occupied territory in Moldova. This is to amplify Russian claims of anti-Russian sentiment in Moldova, but the Transnistrian forces remain unlikely to enter the war in Ukraine. So Russia just doing idiot things to try and get people to join the fight and to help them out but everyone sees through their nonsense at this point and if you haven't seen the video of the fsb uh, evidence that i posted go see that it's it's hilarious how stupid these people think everyone is um russian forces conducted precision missile strikes against five ukrainian railway stations in central and western ukraine this is likely an effort to disrupt ukrainian reinforcement and resupply efforts in eastern ukraine as well as stop Western aid shipments as well to those locations. Local Ukrainian counterattacks did take territory north of Kherson and west of Izium in the past 24 hours, and Russian forces continue to make very little progress in very scattered and small-scale attacks across eastern Ukraine, really gaining no territory. A top Ukrainian official says its country is asking the Biden administration to provide at least $2 billion per month in emergency economic aid over the next three months. That would be nearly $10 billion in total aid uh, in five months, if you count what we've already given them, this would mean they were the, they would be the largest recipient of U.S. aid uh, this year. With Afghanistan said to uh, receive 4.9 billion in 12 months, Ukraine is asking the rest of the world community to provide an additional 3 billion per month. The risk of nuclear war shouldn't be underestimated, says Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, as he told state-controlled media. Lavrov said earlier that if World War III were to take place, it would involve nuclear weapons and be destructive. I was starting to wonder about Russia's nuclear weapons, because they hadn't talked about them for the last 15 minutes. It was worrying me. I thought that maybe they didn't have any in that amount of time. The Prime Minister of Poland has said that uh, on April 25th, they will be, or said on April 25th, that they will be giving an undisclosed amount of T-72 tanks. This is because the United Kingdom has confirmed that they are sending a backfill of tanks to Poland. So additional tanks moving to the, the battlefront for Ukraine. And as I said, there really wasn't a whole lot. I was going to cover that video on the FSB evidence on the assassination attempt that they foiled, quote unquote. But that got its own video, so I don't have a lot else to talk about. Have a good evening, everyone.